to de decision making processes. So we'll break those out. We're going to say these are going to be the allocated uh, expenses that we have down here or the indirect expenses. And we have, we've already listed them out. We've come up with the numbers for them. These are the ones we're going to recreate these numbers for the indirect expenses. Again, the direct expenses, fairly straightforward to which department they will go. Indirect expenses are the ones that we're going to have to do some allocation method. Let's look into those methods. So first we'll take a look at the salaries. So we're concentrating on the salaries. We're going to say that we have department A and B. This is going to be a standard kind of comparison. Then we're going to take these sales. Why sales? Here's the sales numbers. Why are we taking those sales numbers when we're trying to allocate salary? Be just because we decided for sales to be the activity base. And all we're going to use do is use sales to come up with a ratio percentages that we can then use to apply the cost of the salary between the two departments. So to, the way to do that is we're just going to take our percentages. We're going to say, all right, here's sales for A, here's sales for B. There's the total sales. We can then just take the 825600 divided by the total, 1290000. That's going to be 64%. We could take the 464,400 divided by the total, 129,000. That's going to be 36%. So if we do that, our percentage is uh, 64, 36, and that adds up to 100. So now we have percentages. Uh, how are we going?